Hollow Knight. I beat this game back in 2018 and rarely played it after. Uh, it wasn't until a few weeks ago that I decided to get back into it. It was 1am on a Saturday morning. I was on call with my home dog Come Slice Louie when he sent me a video of the previous world record Hollow Knight speedrun by Fireborn. The meager amount of sleep deprived brain cells shared between us quickly formulated the most uninformed and unintelligent sentence of our lives. Yeah, we could probably do that. And thus began my Hollow Knight speedrunning journey. There was just one problem. Turns out, speedrunning is really fucking hard. I knew getting to be one of the top runners for Hollow Knight would be a serious challenge that would take actual years to master. So I set a goal for myself. I wanted to see how far I could get in just one week. So that's what this video is about. Day one started with me watching top speedrunners such as Fireborn and Pest. This is my first time ever speedrunning a game, and it's also my first time playing Hollow Knight in a while. So yeah, I died a lot. Sterling King's Pass, same route as always. Poke with this Vengefly for style points if you wanna. Elder Bug is old, and as you guys know, I hate old people, so we're going to murder! Turns out you can't actually kill Elder Bugs, we're just gonna ignore him for now. The Stellar J and his affiliates do not condone violence against the elderly. Anyways, we're going around for out and crossroads to the left to get to False Knight, breaking the wall and going straight to Vengeful Spirit. After completing the gauntlet, we're gonna give this Snail Shaman a kiss on the cheek, and it's time to stream snipe this enemy, whom I like to call Alinity, for no reason whatsoever. Make sure to grab Soul as you traverse Green Path. <gasps> GAMER GIRL! No bullshit as ledge is gonna keep me from my waifu, so using raw willpower we can chase after her. I continue to pursue and notice a fellow gamer in trouble. Fucking free my man, he didn't fucking do anything! Reddit karma. With my newly acquired gamer wisdom, I calmly approach Hornet. When is Silk Song coming out, you bitch? I grab a cloak off of what I assume can only be a metaphor for Team Cherry's Twitter before waking up from my dream of ever talking to a woman. With a newfound lust for blood, we speed run our way down Fungal Waste where we yoink a Mantis Claw. Once again, I'm going to wake up from my fantasy world and kill an expecting mother before making my way over to the dream nail and nailing all the parkour. First try. Straight down we get to the City of Tears where we're going to grab a few souvenirs and commit a few murders for money before taking on the Watcher Knights. <gasps> Old person. Now that we successfully eliminated Oldie number one, we're going to sell his shit and take a stag to Dirtmouth where we can spend our dirty money. Next, we're off to Crystal Peak, and after parkouring away to the Crystal Heart, we bench warp back to Dirtmouth, and it's time to speedrun over to the Teacher's Archive. Oh, oh, we're halfway there. Oh, oh, no, this is your bolts there. With whatever that was out of the way, it's time to zoom over to the Queen's Garden. Fun fact, on 1.2.2.1, this enemy just straight up cannot hurt you. Why are we still here? Queen's Garden conveniently connects up to Deep Nest, where our third and final geezer is. Hey bro, watch your jet. Watch your jet bro, watch your jet! And after beasting on the beast, all we have to do is take a stag back to Dirtmouth and beat the game. Most speedrunners have trouble on Watcher Nights. I am not most speedrunners. Fight back! Fight back! So with that said, days two and three were literally just Watcher Night practice. For 20 hours over the span of two days, all I did was eat, sleep, and grind Watcher Nights. Fuck these guys. This fight is very frustrating, and over the week, I lost seven runs to Watcher Nights, one of which was embarrassingly caught on stream. Shit. Follow me on Twitch. Day four of my journey was dedicated entirely to learning neat speedrunning skips. First of which is the fireball boost. All you gotta do is make sure you have six to nine hits of soul, then boom, bam, bop, and you're over. Skip number two is the explosion, pogo, and fungal waste. This saves us about a minute and a half of going around to Mantis Village. And I can't do it. I can't seem to get the timing down, so I usually elect to just take the minute and a half and go around. I have failed you all. Skip number three, the shade skip. In this area of the Garden Crossroads, we can bounce on our shade and make it up to this ledge. But of course, to do so, we must first commit suicide on this bug. Make sure you're to the right of this doorway or the shade won't spawn in the right spot. Skip number four is going to be the Monarch Wings skip. 
Again, super easy. It's literally the exact same movement as the shade skip. But instead of our own decrepit corpse, we're jumping off of some gothic furniture or decoration. I don't know what this is. Skip number five, fuck the floor. We're hitting the switch from beneath. It's awesome and it saves like five whole minutes of doing a shitty, annoying ass, bullshit fucking gauntlet. Whose idea was it to put this fucking red guy down here? Who is- Skip number six, after grabbing the crystal dash from Crystal Peak, we can come to this spot in the Forgotten Crossroads, and with a little bit of timing, we can say fuck you to acid and completely skip having to grab Isma's Tear. The real value of this is not having to go through fucking royal waterways, which to me is a treasure worth more than its weight in gold. Okay guys, it's day five and it's time to practice the final skip of the run. The Queen's Garden Acid Skip. Da Vinci? Yeah, it's, it's pretty easy. I just, I practiced it all day on day five for, uh, for fun. You read correctly. It's day six and it's finally time to boot up the stream, learn how to use this fucking live split shit, and then actually play the game. There wasn't a whole lot to say about this run other than that it was slow as dirt. Is dirt slow? Why did I write that? I struggled a bit with the shade skip and I messed up the parkour a few times and I actually decided to get the nail upgrade this run to make things a little bit easier uh, because I was a fucking beta bitch. Please? Oh! Yes! First try! First try! Somebody clip it! That's right baby, watch your nights done, first try. I'm so fucking good at this game. And I didn't have enough money to buy the lantern and then stag back to dirt mouth. So after losing a cool 20 minutes, I went up to Crystal Peak and grabbed the Crystal Heart, no complications whatsoever. Now it's time for acid skip number one in our fight with Uwu. Surprisingly, I had next to no trouble on the Uwu fight and did it easily on my first try. Okay, Queen's Garden acid skip o'clock. Only took me a few tries, surprisingly. And I didn't have much trouble in Queen's Gardens either. And then I went to Deep Nest. I lost a lot of time. Beast then, baby. It has come to my attention that certain speedrunners in the community skip freeing this grub, which is literally a quarter second time loss. Uh, to anyone who skips this grub, there is a sniper positioned outside your location. Ah! Okay, I... <laughs> Don't clip that, please! I'm manly, I swear! All we have to do now is smack Hera and it's on to the final boss. The Hollow Knight. I fucking sucked at this boss fight. I died four times before I finally managed it. <laughs> Please? Please? Please die! I wanna have my fucking- I want my run to live! Ow! I did it! And then I got off. My final time was 1 hour, 42 minutes, and 24 seconds. Not great considering the world record is 32 minutes and 55 seconds, uh, but we still have another day left in the challenge to improve. It's the final day of our challenge and it's time for our last official run. I did an unrecorded practice run and then started the stream. It's pretty much the same as our previous run except for a few things. Number one, my movement is better. Number two, I have that shade skip down now. You guys all ready to see an epic speedrunner skip? It's gonna be really cool. It's gonna be really cool. There it is. Who's impressed? Raise your hand if you're impressed. Number three, I've read an economics book and I am now a chad at money management. Watcher Nights, of course, we're still done first try. I expect pog champs out of every fucking one of you right now. I expect a pog champ out of every one of your mouths right now. I actually fucked up Crystal Peak, which was a huge time loss, so my bad on that one. No! Okay, well, that's unlucky. I still died to OO once, which kind of sucked, okay. but I made sure to repay the favor. <laughs> And then I died to acid. And then I just fucking died. After a walk of shame back to kill a teacher, I beasted on the Queen's Garden acid skip, beasted on Queen's Gardens, beasted on Deep Nest, then I beasted on the beast and ate shit to Hollow Knight. Several times. Ah. 
When I finally finished, my time was 1 hour, 25 minutes, and 11 seconds, which put me at a fairly high 298th place on speedrun.com out of 313 runners. <laughs> I still run the game on my Twitch to this day after the one week deadline, and my current personal best is actually one hour and seven minutes, with a lot of room for improvement. And that's all for this video guys, in one week I learned how to speedrun Hollow Knight and get my time down to roughly three times that of the world record. Not super great, but I had fun and I'm definitely going to do a video line like this in the future. Comment below what games you guys want to see me try this with. I was thinking maybe Breath of the Wild, maybe Silk Song if that's even a real game. If you guys still want to see me speedrun, make sure to follow me on Twitch. I still speedrun this game and will definitely do more in the future. Also, huge thank you to Fireborn and his speedrun tutorials. I literally would not have been able to do this without them. I was gonna show you, but and then you don't die at the end. Try not to die. Okay, bye.